Okay. We have to have our after dinner treats. Because we got a scotch box. Happy New Year scotch box. You are 2015. Gosh box. My gosh box was packed for you by Takako. I think they packed my last gosh box too. Maybe I don't know that. I know I've seen them before. I can't have too many people named Takako out there. Oh boy. <laughs> so they have different paper. Uh, this year, it's uh, a little bit thicker. It's not like um, tissue paper this time. So what do we got up top? Kirby, was this gum? Yeah, it's Star Kirby bubble gum. Okay, so well, the bubble gum plus sticker set. Oh, okay. We'll save the gum for last. Okay, so what's this one here? With some weird kind of bunhead dude. That's not gum, is it? Not make cold biscuits. Butter biscuits with mascot print. Oh, okay. Well, we can try these. Let's see what we got here. Oh, looks kind of Christmassy. Man, that's pretty sparse. Okay. Uh, let's see, we got five and a half biscuits, the other half of the, there, there's a biscuit half and these, there's no other half to be found. Okay, so we got a sample, and we have, it looks like some kind of light bulb dude. animal crackers which is not so much a cracker as it's more like a cookie. rather plain cookie yeah or maybe like the like the little things you get that you dip in icing or something yeah, that's not bad okay so what have we here these look like um Potato little chips french sticks. fries French fries, yeah. Nori and salt seasoning. Ooh. Oh, let's see how these are. Yeah, it's just such a tiny Just like them. Um, they do have the little seaweed flakes as you can see on there. I think it does have a little bit of flavor to it. But they don't taste as greasy as your standard potato sticks, which that's nice. You can't go wrong with potatoes. So, let's finish it off. Oh, okay. He's still working on his. Plug it back. Well, I was gonna keep the wrappers up here. Um, let's see what is this one? Looks like a little cracker, rice Baca cracker. Okay, fried sesame. Okay. <laughs> Looks got like a little angry, a little cracker dude on there. That's like a little, a little extra salty than a normal rice cracker. A little extra flavoring to it. Oh, look at what they got! I got another one of these. Uh oh. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. It's got pictures of little shrimps on it. Shrimp mayo. Mm. 
Oh my boat. my boat. Oh, you know what? <laughs> we have squeeze cheese now. You want to put squeeze cheese in the middle of this and eat it? Okay. One moment. Oh, no. Maybe not one moment. Here. Feel it. Oh. Feel smushed. It is the broken. Yeah, so we're not gonna be able to put squeeze cheese in the in the middle tube because it's been pretty pulverized, huh? Yeah. You've got little bits coming out. Is it pretty good though? Does, does it taste shrimpy? It tastes like your Japanese mayo. Oh, okay. I, I have Japanese mail that I used to make our um, sushi bake. Uh, okay. Well, I think that's all the for the savory stuff. Um. Oh, I've gotten these little panda face thingies before. And I know it's probably such a minuscule amount that I might not have an allergic reaction, but I'm pretty allergic. Like, handling shrimp before, my hands will get red and itchy. So, I don't think any kind of shrimp would be good for me. Even a tiny little bit. But this has this little comic on it, and I cannot read what's going on in the comic. Oh, okay. This is more hmm? Saku Saku Panda Cookies. Oh, the Panda We've had them before, too. But yeah, they have a... Okay. Oh, yep, there just looks like a little different flavor, maybe. Oh, here's a wiggly face one. See how the back is like that. You've had these yes, before. Yes, chocolate panda face. Okay. These have a... Uh, that one looked a little green. <laughs> maybe because of... Does it have a mint flavor? Uh -huh. well, let's see. This one's just a kind of a regular happy panda face. Oh, what was in there for? Like we each get a Kit Kat of some kind? Does it say what flavor this is? Green Kit Kat. Oh, we've had these before. Green tea flavor? Mm -hmm. Matcha green tea, not not American green tea or British green tea, whatever. Matcha green tea. There is a difference. Um, these uh, they really taste like it. They each have like a little thing on the back. What does yours have? This so mine has like a little place where you can like write something. There was like something on that one too. I thought like this little. Spot where you can like write your name on it, and then our full size sample is Pocky. Uh, I think this is strawberry Pocky. No, this is strawberry Pocky. You know, I strawberry dipped biscuits. Yeah, I, I just you know, I don't know. I love Scotchbox and definitely suggest you try Scotchbox, especially if you are anywhere that's not in a city, a city big enough to have some kind of a Asian market or 
or you know international food market mm -hmm. because I can I can go right now and buy me a box of, of strawberry pocky. We're very lucky, right? That yeah, we are. Is big enough to at least have that. right. Um, although I will give them this, this is a kind of a unique design of the strawberry pocky. I haven't seen a little packet like this. This is very cute. Got a little uh, girl having fun with some pocky on the back there. Um, it almost makes me think of like Valentine strawberry pocky or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm, as you might have heard me say before, I'm not a huge fan of strawberry. I'm not allergic to strawberry. As some people think because I say don't give me strawberry stuff. It's just because I don't, I'm not big on fake strawberry flavor. Don't I'm, other flavors you're not big on, Andy. I don't like grape, really. Um, okay, oh, I love orange. Um, it's hard to mess up orange because orange is such a juicy fruit that you can... Whatever's orange flavored anything, it's almost always naturally flavored. Unless you're a company like Coca Cola that has to make a fake orange flavor. But yeah, that was it for my smash bar. Oh, don't forget camera. So let's let's take a look. I said this is soda gum. Oh, there's three little tabs in there. Okay, and this is a package, and it looks like you get okay. a little card to color. You know who this guy is? No. See, I've never played Kirby. It looks like I've never even watched people bosses. play Kirby. It looks like he has a front butt. I don't know. And a diaper on his head. Oh. Anyway. And then we got some little stickers. Little Kirby stickers. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Right here. I'll save them for you. And uh, I will try some gum. Now that I'm done chewing on my pocky and other snacks. <sighs> Yeah, I think, uh, hmm. what did I think was my favorite? My favorite flavor? Well, my favorite of the savory ones, I would have to say is this, uh, this thing. That biscuit. That, or, uh, the rice cracker. I liked how that tasted the best of the savory things. Uh -huh. Mine was the Umai ball. Oh, yeah. Let me smell it. I really smell the mayo flavor. Mm -hmm. I just, I can't smell shrimp. But yeah, I really smell the mayo. 
so weird. It kind of makes me want to uh, huh. get like a, a cheesy poof or something and put mayo on it and see how it tastes. Okay. It uses shrimp powder, so. Yeah, so it's not good for me. Um, I don't know, I can't go wrong with those little bears. The little chocolate bears, but oh, I really, I like, I like the matcha green tea Kit Kats. I have to say I like them the best. They're, I, I, I don't like a lot of matcha green tea flavor things. So like just one of these is good. Um, I think I bought some matcha green tea mochi ice creams before and I, I'm not a super ice cream fan anyway, just because of my teeth um, being sensitive, but I couldn't handle a whole one of those. Um, but yeah, I I enjoyed everything. Um, what was your favorite? I know you said you liked the, uh, this Wabo. Did you like the strawberry pocket the best or not the sweets? Mm. Well, I really love strawberry, but I have to give it to those matcha. Okay, okay yes. Yeah, those are good. I mean, yeah, as I say, we, we've both had the strawberry pocky before, so that's not like a new example or anything. They definitely do matcha right on those Kit Kats. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm going to go into freaking Walmart and find one of those. Um, oh, I don't even think I could go on a Mayo's and Market and find one. No. I'm but, uh, sure. I mean, I could find matcha, other kinds of things, but not. I don't think there's some Kit Kats in there. They have all sorts of weird stuff. But, yeah, I plan on trying some new things this year. Um, and, uh, you know, I wanted to discuss that I may be giving up Scotch Box. Um, but... I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna. I've gotta go through my finances and see what I can and can't afford anymore. Scotch box is only like twelve and some change a month, and it's a bunch of different little samples delivered right to my door. That's kind of hard to say. Well, I'm gonna cut this out, but not some other thing that I really don't need. Because, I mean, it's it's a nice little treat. You know, I you know could have had a bad day at work. I didn't. I had a decent day at work. Um, but, uh, you know, something nice to come home to and have after dinner is a treat. Uh, but that's only one day a month. And, uh, you know, even though, like I said, it is from some change a month for just this little box, which is, you know... It's not even a pound for this box, but having that selection and, you know, I don't think there have been many scotch boxes that I've had so far yet that have had something that I can't have. It's like maybe every other box and it's only like one thing per box. Mm -hmm. And that's only me because I have food allergies. And I think that's, that's a good deal. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's totally up to you. I know a lot of people for the new year are rethinking their finances and things like that. Um, and they may want to think about cutting out certain little things that they get, but I don't think I'm going to cut Scotchbox because, number one, I do use everything that is sent to me. Um, it, it's food. I'm, I'm going to eat it. It's not going to go to waste. It's not going to sit in a box somewhere for years until I decide I want to do something with it. That'd be bad. <laughs> Heck, I've even reused the, the little boxes for Christmas. Um, so nothing really goes to waste with the Scotch box. And, you know, it's trying something new, too. Yes, there was a few things in here that we had had before, like the little bear cookies. But it's like... Hey, you guys love this this time. Here, try it again. Oh, here's Pocky. Everybody loves Pocky. So you got something old 
and then something's new. So you're really never going to be disappointed. I don't think so. Um, unless you're super duper picky, in which case, why are you getting Scotch Box if you're super picky? Go out and buy what you're picky for. Scotch Box is for people who are, you know, brave and adventurous in their taste palette. Um, but this isn't anything too crazy. I mean, we're not getting like, you know, deep fried crickets or anything. So, yeah, just, just, uh, give Scotch Box a try if you haven't yet. Um, I believe it, I link to it below every time, usually. So, if you want to give it a try, you got my vote. And, uh, happy scratching, happy new year. Make it a good one.